Hey everyone, uh, from this point forward, I played ahead, ahead so that you guys don't have to watch us struggle as much, but I'll explain how we were able to solve all the, I was, or we were able to solve all the puzzles so that you can understand the logic behind it. Because if I just tell you, you're going to be like, how does that make sense? Yeah, because some of these were a little, uh, thorough <laughs> puzzles. A little crazy. Yeah. So I went ahead, and a lot of it takes a lot of, um like uh code deciphering <laughs> and that was kind of crazy so i'm going to explain how everything works also uh one of the things that you needed to do was let the snake continue to choke you yeah for a full minute what Yes! Hello again, old friend. That must have been danger. I was snowing. Do you like letting go so of the me, hint Mr. Huggy? To, to tell you that this is okay uh, is because he had a he had a um, stuffed animal from when he was a kid. And so he wasn't afraid of it. And so if you just let him squeeze it, the snake gets more and more tired. So you just watch that. Amazing! Oh! That was a good one. Uh, well, this has been fun, but oh, I, I had better be going soon. Okay, fun time's over, my scaly friend. I, oh, I hope you're not bending my friend spoon. <laughs> I remember reading on the ship's cosmopedia that snakes hate loud noises. Uh, I don't want to have to resort to sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let go now. <laughs> well, seriously, you better let go. Oh, not kidding around. Mr. Huggy, I think it won't be much longer now. See, it warns you on every level that he's gonna die. Yeah. And then you just have to let Shay die. <laughs> I guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. That's true. I guess if you had just played the first game, you would be like, nah, Shay, yeah. Mr. He's Huggy's hug all tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone might step on him. What I want to know is uh, how he's able to fit a snake in his pocket. Oh, wait, no. Whoa. Uh <laughs> 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 that wasn't on purpose. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Oh no, that was not on purpose. <laughs> I just wanted to know where the snake. Oh god, no. where did it go, Mari? <laughs> where did the giant... where could it be? I want to know where his python went. <laughs> I just want to see what he said. Need a snake to decorate your branches? No, sir. I just took out my last squatter a month ago. We like to keep the snakes moving around. Keeps the lumberjack guessing. Uh, yeah, one thing that Mari and I usually do is that when we get to a certain point in the game, Mari will go ahead and solve the rest of the puzzles, and I usually do not go ahead so that we have one person who doesn't know what's happening. So that we can go like, what's the reaction of somebody who'd be like, that doesn't make any fucking sense? Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to tell you how stupid the rest of this is. <laughs> so, um... Now we have the snake, and we use the snake to squeeze the, uh... <laughs> I don't know how you would ever, ever be like, oh yeah, the snake is squeezing me to death. I think I'll just wait to see what happens. I think it has some, I think you have to have some sort of inherent hatred for Shay being obnoxious all the time. Yeah. I didn't really hate him that much, but I just wanted to see what happened, and then eventually the snake fell down, and I was like, oh... Like, oh, well, that makes sense, I guess. We were hitting everybody with the stick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you had something caught in your throat. Uh, hey, knock that off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Mog. Mog Chatra. Struck down by the dead eye guard, only to rise again 
this maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never going to be mayor now. I love how that's your concern. Where's your daughters? Yeah, not that like, oh wait, all the girls are gone. <sighs> this whole- Excuse me? Huh? What are you going to say? Yeah, the- It's, it's fine. Well, yeah, I'm never going to be mayor. Where are the girls? I don't know. Yeah, they're probably dead. Who knows? They did their job. Feeling better? A little. But I won't know for sure until the polls come in tomorrow. Oh my god. Yeah. Where did Mom Chopper go? I assume back home, beyond the gates of the Plague Dam. Can you tell me where we are? Why, the village of Shell Mound, of course. The eighth largest incorporated seaside territory on the whole East Coast. Who are you? Marshal Du. Who are you? I'm Shay, from Laruna. Laruna? You're from the ancient lost city far beyond the Plague Dam? Huh. Well, that's not exactly how it was described to me. The oh, Lost... Man. I'm from the Lost City of Laruna. <laughs> you can see the mounting disappointment in his eyes the more he learns about the lies. Yeah. He's like, oh. He's yeah. like, oh, great. So I was a monster. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Do you know anything about electronics? What's electronics? Some new data analysis service for elections? Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything. As long as it's made out of sand. Mm. Yeah, I don't think oh, that's uh Do you mean totally sand? Is. Synthetic autonomous nanodrones? Because that would be great if you had some of those. No, I mean sand, as in the chief export of this fine community. Oh. <laughs> I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshal Dew. Thanks. No, thank you, Sam, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just... A guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. Wait, uh, for serious, we wanted the thing made of, out of sand? Well, no. So what we need is, hold on, let me just get that one thing. That oh, we the need. model? We need it. We needed it for a model. Yeah. But hold on, let me just show you the one thing that we were missing that we really needed. Oh God. Guess what we needed? We needed something to write with. Do you see somewhere in here that we could write with? Right here. On his head. We oh needed my God. something to write with. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. Oh my god. Okay, see you later. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's like these point and click games, I'm just like, really? You know, <laughs> I like. I mean, but it's like, once you figure it out, you feel pretty smart though. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Okay, hey, we Kelly. can't talk to. Oh, thanks. Okay, we can't talk to her yet because we don't know what her knot looks like. Yeah. Well, good luck and good. But, um, now we have to go to the tree, but I need to get a flyer from this mailbox. It makes <laughs> sense. You see, once I got this flyer, I started showing the flyer to everybody. There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters. Oh, no! So more lies! No, no, they probably won't even care because you know what? They were already sacrificing her to die, so you know clearly what? they don't care, okay? You know what? You know what would be really, really rich? 
if they started they 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 saw him and they're like, "Oh, so it's your fault." And I'm like, "No, it's your fault." Yeah. You're the one who thought that was a great they'd tradition. They'd probably see her they, they'd probably see him and be like, "Oh, you'd make a great husband for our daughter." Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I have a daughter about your age. Maybe we'll, you know, get the two of you betrothed. Fuck off. You're all awful. So, I showed the poster to everybody. And notice how they're, like, he was like, when he saw this, he was like, oh, there's crystalline things happening on the top. Blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So I showed it to everyone, and then I showed it to this guy. Hey, do you know this girl? Oh, God. That face. The memories. More puke. You're every bit as cruel as her, aren't you? Well, and then I was like, well, I need to solidify this. I could cover this sandy can of paper. But oh, I think uh, I'm just gonna put this here, okay? Hey, the forest isn't your dumping ground, human. <sighs> and then. I don't think I should cane that. So just the sight of this girl's face... Stool girl! Fascinating. <laughs> just leave me be. This poor guy. This treat, everybody like doesn't understand him. So now, I have a mold for a candlestick. <laughs> hey Curtis, do you think you could use this as a mold? Hmm. Hey, this is a nice mold. What is this, a candle holder? It's a super... Because candle holders sell like crazy. I can totally use this as a mold if it's a candle holder. It totally is. It's a super candle holder. Cool. Let's try it out. Hit the road, kitty. Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. That's perfect. You think it conducts electricity really well? Well, not that it matters for a candle holder, but based on the metals I'm using, yes. Thanks. Yeah, you take the first one. Fair trade for this awesome mold that is gonna make me so rich. Uh, which <clears throat> I only care about because it gives me the freedom to be truer to myself as an artist. <laughs> Thanks, Curtis. Pleasure doing business. I mean, art with you. I'm, My Curtis loser. is so perfect. His character, like everything he says, I'm just like I. I know you. I I've met you before. We know each other. <laughs> Which I like only care about because it like allows me to explore my true calling as an artist. Who that's, makes money? That's why. I mean, artists should make money. Don't get me wrong, but like. So remember when we were like, we got to get this bird out of the way so we can go. Yep. No, we can just walk right on past the bird. <laughs> we can just walk right past that bird. You mean that we didn't take have us, to do anything the take whole us time? Down. We are in our prime. Eat our sweet rewards. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, that's a little. Eat our sacred. How about we just skip that line? Okay. We'll return in time. Let our child rise from hmm. his rotten bed. Up from it. Hey. Are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to ya? These are the guards, the yeah. Jedi guide, guard, god eye, blah, blah, blah. The Jedi blah. god? Yeah, they're the ones who supposedly rip their own eyes out and they're both blind. Yes. Uh, if you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up. But I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals. So if you have another stick handy. 
We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. I've had lots of experience fighting my stuffed animals, so yeah, I Yeah, think... fighting my friends that are made out of spools of yarn, <laughs> so you better watch out. I clearly disemboweled them. <laughs> They're very scared. Uh... Are you guys looking for a tree to talk to? Because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh, no thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is, the answer. That was really convincing, Courtney. Thanks. I did the pause just like you said. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former Dead-Eyed Druid. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the Tree of Answers. Why yeah. do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But apparently he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit. And since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. Obviously. Clearly. Why not? In the first game, in the first act, we gave them a piece of fruit as the answer to the riddle that they actually didn't have an answer to, and they're yeah. like, "Oh wait, that actually fits. Okay, cool." Yeah. I'm telling the audience. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, Sorry, I'm just agreeing with you. Be like, Mari, I know. I <sighs> remember. I'm like, I, I was just... there. <laughs> just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle. Too many questions. This is a matter of faith. Oh. Also, we really need this to work, because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, we're kind of at the end of our robes. Believe in yourselves! Yeah. I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? Oh, yeah, we'd burn! We'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick yarn burn! I'll be made of your... Yeah, that's what the dead eye god said. They don't even know the yarn pals, and they're making fun of him. They're like, those sound clearly made up. I thought we were the fruit, worshipping the tree. On guard, druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. You're lucky she's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because I can see. I've been I've been pretending to be blind all these years. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact, I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. Me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now! Yay? Fantastic! But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? Ah! So That's right, they fly off into the Yay! sunset naked! Just like all all friendships start and end. Yes. Flying off crazy. naked. That's how, that's how female friendships work. Just in case you want to question that, you're wrong and your friendship isn't real. <laughs> Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. That is hilarious. No, they just, they're like, I believe in you, me too, let's just get naked and fly away! Yay! Yay! 